that uh, was just finished up for me by uh, a couple of uh, artist friends of mine. Uh, Jim Russell of Jim Russell Designs in Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, a young guy named Jason Rittmiller, who's a student who works for Jim uh, part-time during the summer, worked for him this summer, and did an excellent job of the stainless welding. So this is uh, my first all stainless production of the engine. Uh, the front end here, the chamber, is dark and discolored just because of the final welding that was done. I uh, asked them not to polish it up since I was intending to run it right away, which would mess it up again. Uh, we've got propane vapor for fuel. The high voltage uh, connections are here for the spark plug. And the starting air is just the usual uh, blow gun here. And uh, I've got propane set up to about uh, 12 psi. And uh, let's see, it sparks right here. Sounds like that's working. Uh, so I'll take care of zooming in on this a little bit and then uh, get my headphones on and we'll give it a try. Let's bring this into a reasonable reasonable uh, wideness there and get the all-important hearing protection on and we'll see what we can do okay, high voltage ignition is on uh, applying air to the start of air tube and uh, start the air flowing and then advance the fuel Let's see what we get and uh, adjust the fuel a little more reasonably. Ignition. Basically, uh, starting up really nice, though. Actually, maybe I'm uh, trying to lean it out a little too much. Maybe I need to give it a little more. How would that be? The uh, spark clips are starting to get just a little bit hot here. set just right for it. So, might be a little bit of a, a problem there, but uh, otherwise looks like uh, a running engine. Certainly takes off and starts well. So I guess maybe just getting the fuel adjusted right is the uh, is the issue right now. But basically, pretty good running engine other than that. Okay, I've uh, found that reducing the fuel pressure down to about 5 or 6 PSI gives me more reliable running. 
and uh, better control over the fuel. So uh, I'll try to show that off a little bit now. up and runs out. It may be that the length is off just a little bit so that as it heats up and the frequency changes it gets out of tune a little bit between the intake and the exhaust. And I'm uh, kind of afraid that maybe that's what's actually happening there. 